Unfortunately, SPSS doesn't give you the variances uh, for the groups. It only gives you the standard deviations. I'll show you a way, a, a quick way of getting the variances for each group in a separate video that I'm going to call standard deviation variance range. Uh, but in this case here, you literally have to square it using a calculator, which isn't great if you want it, wanted to report the variances. So here's the ANOVA table here. This is testing the hypothesis that these three means are equal. And the F value is 5.58, and it's le the P value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, I've rejected the null hypothesis that these three means are equal. At least one pair of means is different. And that's the problem with the ANOVA table, is that on the one hand it tells you where that the means are not equal. It doesn't tell you which means are not equal, because some of the means might be equal. Some of the mean comparisons might be equal. And that's why ANOVA really, uh, you have to do more work if you get a significant effect. Now, had this F, this P value, had it been 0 0.05 or greater, I would stop the analysis here assuming all the assumptions were satisfied and I thought okay I didn't reject the null hypothesis but because the p-value is less than 0 0.05 these multiple comparisons or the Fisher LSD tests are useful and necessary and Fisher's LSD is basically t-tests with a common error term so looking at before looking at these Fisher's LSD values let's look at the plot of the means and we can see that Students who had teachers with low expectations had a low mean. It's a little bit above 11.5. And then average expectation teachers uh, had students with confidence levels of about 13.5 and high expectations a bit higher at about 14. Now my hunch is the difference between the low expectation and the high expectation will definitely be different. There's got to be at least one mean comparison different in this one way between groups ANOVA. The difference between average expectation and high expectation, though, I'm less confident, because there's not much of a difference here. And low expectation, average expectation, probably, but I'm not sure. And that's why I need to do the Fisher's LSDs as post hoc comparisons after my significant ANOVA, is to find where the differences are. And this is where this table comes into play. It's labeled LSD. And we can see that low expectation versus average expectation produced uh, was associated with a p-value of 0 0.017. Unfortunately, SPSS doesn't report a t-value. There is a way of getting around that, but um, in this table here, it just doesn't report it. So you would literally just report the p-value associated maybe with the mean difference. But it is statistically significant. So low expectation versus average expectation is statistically significantly different from each other, 0 0.017. Now low expectation and high expectation, the p-value is even smaller, 0 0.002. So the difference between this mean and this high expectation mean. Now finally to this one comparison where I thought, I'm not sure, average expectation and high expectation teachers? I look here, average expectation and high expectation is a p-value of 0 0.461 and that is not statistically significant. So these Fisher's LSD uh, tests, which are protecting me in terms of increasing my family-wise error rate, are telling me that there are, there's a statistically significant difference between low expectation and high expectation, and low expectation and average expectation teachers. But there is no significant difference between average, average expectation and high expectation. There's a numerical difference, and it's in the direction we might expect, but it's actually not statistically significant. So that's how you would treat a one-way between groups ANOVA with three groups, which is a very common scenario. You do the ANOVA first. If it's significant, carry on and look at the Fisher's LSD values. Now what if you had four groups? It changes. If you have four groups, uh, you have options uh, that are, some are equal, they're roughly equally attractive but you can't do the Fisher's LSD in this case. You actually have to do a different type of multiple comparison procedure, or what people might call a, a post hoc test, but I think a better term is a multiple comparison procedure. And by far the most common procedure for evaluating four means or more 
is Tukey's HSD.